Right. He survived. He survived the Joey Diaz experience. You know, I got a, I got a, um, I got a, a, a text from Tom, Tom Segura, <laughs> Tom, right? Yeah. And I said because he asked me, we we're backstage, about to go on stage at the main room, and he's like, "I want you to do my podcast, blah blah blah," and I'm like, "Awesome." And then we were texting just about my schedule with him. And then he's, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go see Joey Diaz, da 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 da. And he's like, dude, fucking gummy bears, watch out. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't like, I didn't understand what he was talking about. Like, I didn't, you know what I mean? I, didn't, right. I honestly didn't, like, I was like, whatever, I don't know what you're talking about. And then once I got there, you know, I smoke weed sometimes. You know, I don't smoke all the time, but I like to smoke weed sometimes. But the, but as far as the edibles, I'm like Dean Gelber is like giving me some like pot stuff, but like cookies and shit. But then like he was eating these gummy bears and they're in in a bag, and I was like going fuck okay. And he gave me just like a, he gave me just like a, an ear or some shit, <laughs> and that was it. And then I was just like talking him, and then like literally I I couldn't talk anymore. I couldn't talk. So you only and I, ate like, a part of it. Right? Only ate a half of one. Well, and he's I got some. That... I had to leave. He's got some that are like 500 milligrams, which is just insane. So you probably had half of that, which is like 250, which is fucking insane. That's an insane amount of weed, but unless I had, like, you're an OG. Yeah, I had, but I had done mushrooms once before when I was younger, and it felt like that. Yeah, well, you know? that's uh, to at the risk of uh, repeating myself over and over again, which I do all the time, but um, when you eat, marijuana it's processed by your liver mm. and it produces something called 11 hydroxy metabolite it's a totally different psychoactive substance that's four to five times more psychoactive than thc so that's why it hits you like that and that's why people think they got dosed because when you smoke pot the the, the, that, the 11 it's, it's not more, psychoactive yeah. but when you eat it it's processed by your liver yeah. it's something called a one pass and uh, that's how it produces that. Yeah, and I can't believe he let me drive home. <laughs> like, seriously. I mean, I could have, like, because when I was driving home, I was like, dude, I got to go. Like, I stopped. I go, I can't answer your questions. And then I said, let's, I have to go. And I left and I drove out and he, like, he let me drive. Like, you, you got to understand, Joey Diaz found his mother dead on the kitchen floor when he was on acid when he was 13. Mm. He would let you fly a fucking plane on those things. He doesn't give a shit. He's just like, you'll figure it out, cocksucker. <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> so when did it hit you? Like you did a podcast? Like how how Halfway, deep into probably it? Probably fifteen minutes into it, <laughs> and I couldn't speak. I had to stop. <laughs> like I couldn't speak. Did so he I ever release stop. the podcast? I don't know. I think he did the audio, but not the video. Oh, I told him not to do the video because <laughs> I couldn't answer any questions. Yeah, so. but wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I would like to see myself that fucked up where I can't even talk. Mm. So. Yeah, those uh, those edibles are fucking terrifying. They're goddamn he was terrifying. Eating them like they're like you know skittles or some shit. He's a different type of human. Well, there's a lot of those people now because edibles and marijuana has been legal for so long. There's so many medical patients in California that you get these people that have insane tolerances, and they're just doing dabs and eating cookies and just like Jesus. Just like it, they go down yeah, a it's, hole. You know, the whole marijuana movement and that whole thing is so much different. Different when when I was growing up. You know, when I grew up, we used to like, you know, smoke it. To, we'd go to the beach, and we'd put a towel over us and we'd hide it. Now, like like last night, I was at the uh, the funnier die party. And it was uh, it was the tenth anniversary, and I was just walking around. It just smells like weed everywhere. Yeah, it's just very normal now. Like you know that like. I don't know. That's just the way. <laughs> well, I think it's good because it's you just know? like drinking is normal. Yeah. You know, you walk yeah. by the bar or the comedy store, you see a bunch of people having yeah. a couple of so drinks. There's nothing cool. wrong with that. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. But, but thanks for having me. My pleasure. Yeah. About time, good. man. <laughs>